NVIDIA RTX 3070, 3080, 3090 are probably some of the most powerful graphics cards available in the market. They deliver stable FPS great graphics and a smooth gaming experience. In addition, motherboards occupy an important position since it plays the most crucial role in making sure that consistent and stable output is delivered by the PC. A suitable and compatible motherboard can save you time, energy, and money. If you end up making the wrong choice, you'll face bottleneck, loading time, and compatibility issues. Most importantly, an outdated and incompatible motherboard would not be able to unleash the full potential out of RTX 3070. That is why it is necessary to pair your RTX 3070 with a capable motherboard, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the 5 best motherboards for RTX 3070. I'll leave the links to mentioned motherboards in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting the list with ASUS ROG Strix X570E Gaming. ASUS ROG Strix X570E Gaming is the best motherboard for RTX 3090. Its high performance in gaming is due to the 12 plus 4 power stages for overclocking CPU and RAM. It can take RAM speeds up to 5100 MHz. You can take advantage of the processors with an integrated graphics chipset by using the HDMI 2.0B and DisplayPort 1.2 with max resolution 4096 by 2160 at 60Hz. It is the whole package for high-end gaming PCs. It can support up to 19 USB ports, including front, back, and mid-board connections. The motherboard under test conditions takes up to 188 watts, which is not one of the top power-efficient MOBO benchmark results. The motherboard also has a store MI option that can drastically improve your SSD and HDD performance while freeing up some space. It also has some RGB to improve the overall aesthetics of the motherboard. It isn't much you can complain about on this motherboard. However, the performance versus price ratio is still below the X470. If you don't care about Wi-Fi being AX, then X470 would be a better choice. Besides that, it's a no-brainer and deserves to be powering your gaming machine. The wireless internet connectivity is also a feature for many users who prefer to multitask on their rig. They might need it for wireless data transfer from their smartphone. While running on a 5 GHz connection, the Wi-Fi goes to a max of 467 MB per second, which is high enough for any internet connection available to date. The motherboard has incredible cooling performance due to the active chipset cooling, 8mm heat pipe running underneath a huge VRM heatsink, 2 M2 drive heatsinks, and a header for water cooling pump. This motherboard is keeping the title of being the best premium motherboard for RTX 3070, 3080, 3090. At number 2 it's Gigabyte X570 Aris Elite. If you are into clean looking rigs like the NZXT Black Chassis, then we have a recommendation that will make your computer system look elegant. We believe that Gigabyte X570 Aris Elite is the best motherboard for RTX 3080 with a minimalist look that you crave, and also, it is the best flagship motherboard for RTX 3070, 3080, 3090. It comes with such a friendly price tag that it will make you want to grab it off the shelf as soon as you see it. This motherboard supports up to 128 GB of RAM with 4733 MHz speeds. It comes with a front type C USB 3.2 Gen 2 connection suitable for a supporting chassis. QFlash Plus Update BIOS allows you to update your BIOS without CPU, GPU, or RAM. It is also the best motherboard for RTX 3090 for its price. The 12 plus 2 power phases of the VRM allow overclocking of any AMD processor with an AM4 socket. However, there is a minor drawback for test ventures. The motherboard does not have any onboard diagnostic LED to indicate which component is malfunctioning and takes you to a dead end. The motherboard has diverse connectivity options on the IO shield back panel, but it still lacks the Type-C connection pre-included with the motherboard. With subtle RGB Fusion 2.0 Lightning on board and addressable headers, you can make your rig stand out in its battle station. The integrated I.O. at this price range is also a bonus, let alone the high manufacturing quality of Gigabyte motherboards. The Store MI feature can enhance your window operating performance by storing frequently used files in the SSD for fast access, while keeping all the HDD data, leaving space for game storage on SSD. The enlarged MOSFET heatsinks allow VRM to remain cool and operate at stable voltages for the CPU overclocking. The chipset is also actively cooled by a fan. At number 3 it's ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi. ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi is built for budget gaming PCs, which doesn't mean that they are underperformers. The high-speed RAM capability of 5100 MHz with tough aesthetics and reliable components makes it the best overall motherboard for RTX 3070, 3080, 3090. If you can afford to add little bucks, this is the motherboard for high-end gaming PCs that run the latest RTX series graphic cards. You can build an ultimate streaming machine with this configuration. 
games like Hitman 3, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Control, and Red Dead Redemption 2 walk in a park with this motherboard. It is the best motherboard for RTX 3070. Combining the two makes it a powerhouse. Nothing is perfect in this world, and the motherboard's price is affordable for a reason. It does not have the latest Wi-Fi 6, even though it has the X570 chipsets. It does not offer the SLI capability, so combining two RTX cards won't be possible with this motherboard. There is no dual BIOS capability, so setting high performance and underclocked configuration would require meddling with BIOS setting every time. The 12 plus 2 power phases are high enough to make any AM4 processor work at its maximum potential. The motherboard has PCIe 4.0 support that works well for M2 drives and NVIDIA's RTX 3000 series. The price to performance ratio of this motherboard is one of the best in the business. With Aura Sync, you can have complete control over the RGB lightning. Addressable Gen 2 RGB header with a wide variety of lighting effects and a static RGB header can make your gaming rig stand out. It is also the best motherboard for RTX 3080. At number 4 it's MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. MSI B450 Tomahawk Max belongs to the Arsenal series of motherboards, this means that it is made to last long under tough conditions. This MOBO is one of the best in terms of price for the performance. B450 chipset still has all the essentials that any gamer would need for connectivity and streaming. The motherboard can house the latest AMD Ryzen 3000 series and RAM, with support for 4133 MHz. It has an outstanding power consumption of just 50 watts under IDLE conditions. This motherboard is the bare minimum that a gamer could need without any additional features that one might never use. There is only one M2 slot for most gamers that is not a big problem, as M2 drives are only used for booting and single game installation. If you are heavy on M2 drive, then we recommend you go for a dual M2 drive motherboard in our list. It has no support for NVIDIA multi-GPU configuration, but most gamers can only afford a single GPU configuration. Overall it can be named as the best budget motherboard for RTX 3070, 3080, 3090. The large heat sinks around the CPU for VRM cooling play a crucial role in ensuring that your processor remains overclocking capable and stable for a more extended period. The motherboard is expected to get BIOS to upgrade for compatibility with the Ryzen 5000 series processors in the first quarter of 2021. To simply conclude this MOBO, we believe that it's for entry-level gamers who are just getting used to the PC features and how we can improve its performance once you get the hang of it. We recommend moving to something much more extensive to resolve almost all the issues for more control and precision. It is the best motherboard for RTX 3070. At number 5 it's MSI MPGX 570 Gaming Plus. MSI MPGX 570 Gaming Plus is a gorgeous looking motherboard with a racetrack-like feel. The onboard active chipset cooling does not look bulky and blends well with the MOBO's other components. The BIOS is easy to access, and even flashing the BIOS is simple with the flash BIOS button. It has decent connectivity on the back panel with USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C connection and HDMI 1.4 port for an integrated graphics chipset with AMD processors. It is the best motherboard for RTX 3080. The dual M2 drives don't come with a pre-installed heatsink, which needs to be kept under consideration, as it might lead to throttling under stressed conditions. Lots of users reported incompatibility issues out of the box. You resolved almost all the issues by updating the BIOS. Be sure to update your BIOS using the M-Flash. It comes with a Realtek Gigabit LAN controller, which many users do not prefer. However, the difference is only visible if you are a PC enthusiast. It makes no difference for an average PC gamer user. This MOBO is amongst the cheaper options for an X570 chipset. It is the best enthusiast motherboard for RTX 3070, 3080, 3090. This motherboard comes with 8 plus 2 power phases adequate for overclocking most processors from the market. You will need to upgrade the BIOS before using the Ryzen 5000 series processor. It has MSI Mystic Lite capability to allow addressable RGB connection from the MOBO. The cutout design for the SATA connection is also handy for a cleaner looking wire routing inside the PC case. You can't be running this motherboard on an SLI configuration, but you might want to consider the crossfire capability for experimentation. But that, we come to the end of our review. Motherboards are essential for the flawless operation of your computer system. Selecting your motherboard should be the final thing after deciding all the components you are going to install. We have featured some economical options for our viewers and some high-end options for enthusiasts aiming to assemble the best of the best. As you can see from the video, the most suitable chipset for NVIDIA RTX 3080, RTX 3090, and RTX 3070 is the X570. It has the latest PCIe 4.0 X16 slots required by the bandwidth that RTX 3000 series GPU needs. 
The rest is up to you which motherboard you decide will be right for you.